Hi, and welcome to another episode of On the Trail with me, Anthony Cavello. Hey, I hope you're having a great day. It is a typical uh, May uh, weather out here with storms possibly rolling in a little bit this afternoon. Uh, it's typical for the uh, northeastern part of California. So I just hope you're having a great day out there. Um, I want to recap a few things from the uh, last episode we did. And uh, remember when I was talking about um, that you were one in billions of possibilities in indeed the universe and this planet, right? This is so cool. I'm, I'm going to reiterate on that one just for a second and then continue on on our, uh, our, our uh, little series here. Yes, that's true. And I also remember saying to you that believe in yourself. Please do so. Folks, this is important because, as I said before, you're an extension of the universe and you, or the extension of God. This is important because God never gave up on you, never gave up faith on you. Granted, life can be tough. Life can be grand. I choose to be happy and enjoy the grandeur and the richness that life has to bring. We have that choice. We have that choice. It's amazing to me that most of us have a problem. The question is, what caused all these negative beliefs? Sometimes it can be external, from other people, places, your experiences. As it was said once in a movie, that the past can hurt. Yes, that's true. You can either learn from it or continue to dwell on the past. Please don't dwell on the past because that robs you of your joy. Let me give you an example. Take a look at that tree growing in the cliff. Isn't that great? Nobody told that tree, the universe, God did not tell them you couldn't grow there. And it's growing right there. Right in the cliff. Not in the best spots to grow. It's where the seed landed and the tree began to grow. Isn't that neat? That no one ever told that tree, including the universe, that it couldn't. Nothing gave that tree negative beliefs or feelings. If you want to say feelings. That tree is just where it is and where it's growing. Because it even has faith in itself to grow and be a tree. Use this as a metaphor for your limiting beliefs, feelings, and negative feelings as well. You can do it. If a tree can do it, you can do it. I know we humans are different, but then again, look at this tree as a metaphor. Alright, how'd you like that one? Isn't that a great? I mean, that tree, that little tree, it's growing on its own because it didn't have any negative, uh, negative or limiting beliefs. It just grew. I'm, that's amazing to me. It really is. It surprises me that how much, my, and when I say this by experience myself, how much of being stuck in that negative mode having his limiting beliefs, dwelling in the past, oh yeah, oh yeah, big one, how much that robbed me of my joy. You get what I'm saying? It's robbed me of my joy. And life is to be enjoyed. Sure, you're going to have your trials and tribulations. That's just part of the growth. Part, uh, growth. But we can either learn from them and expand out and say, hey, look how far I come. Isn't that great? And you don't have to prove it to everybody else. Prove it to yourself. That's the, what I mean by don't losing faith, not losing faith. That is a comfort to me. And I hope it's a comfort to you. Life is a banquet, and darn it, let's enjoy it for what it is. We don't have a long time on this planet, but let's make it a good one while we're here, okay? So, where do we go on from here? First of all, just knowing that some of those limited beliefs or negative feelings that you're constantly feeling every day, 
can be habitual. It could be happening every day. And why does it do that? This is where some of the meat of all this information is coming in. You understand what I'm saying? This is really interesting stuff. If on a daily basis that you're going to feel down or you'll say, oh, why is it always me? Why does this always happen to me? Why can't I do this? Why can't I do that? The question is, who told you you couldn't? Okay? But if the fact is that if you are constantly doing this on a daily basis, guess what? You're addicted to those emotions. This isn't, I'm not making this stuff up, folks. This is true. You have to understand that you're wired. And whatever caused that initial bit of pain to cause something else that happens in your th in, in, of pain that brings you back to that original state, whether it's going to be, whether it's going to be, you know, depression or just feeling bad about yourself or whatever the negative feelings and limited beliefs are. Let me stress this. This is an, that can be an addiction. It is an addiction because you're wired that way. It's wired that way in the electrical and chemical impulses in your brain and the, way, and the way your neural net is wired. You can break that. You can change. That's the great part. Yes, I know change can be difficult. I get that. But like I said before, when you finally have that breakthrough and you're like, wow, look how far I've come. That is awesome. Do you get what I'm saying? I hope you are. If we change the pattern in the neural net and that electrical chemical impulse that our body requires to have those feelings every day, if we break them, yes, to change the neural net in your brain, it takes about 22 days. Yes, to change a habit takes a while. The change can be difficult, yes, but don't worry about the change. Make the change for you, for you. Feel good about yourself. Please feel good about yourself because, like I said, after that addiction is over, you're going to feel so much better about yourself. Ah, you had that breakthrough. That's right. I mentioned that before, right? So, don't worry about the process. Make a conscious change in your life. That's what it's all about. And if you have to have that remembering, have to remember, remember that picture, that little chunk of video of that tree that I showed you, okay? That would keep you on track. Well, I hope you enjoyed this time we had to share together today. I know that I'm, I feel absolutely blessed, like I always say before, and always, always feel so much gratitude that I can do this for you. Please, if you like what you see, it's going to be both on Facebook and also on YouTube. Like, share. These messages need to get out, folks. All right? All right. Until next time, be good to yourself. Definitely love yourself. And I'll see you on the trail. Namaste.